It's got a, it's the 10th of September. Make no mistake, I was murdered. This is, I'm so confused. What I do know is that I have no home. I have no money, I have no dignity. I have no job. I'm too sane or too insane, too clever or not clever enough. I, I'm, I've been cold all winter. I'm, I, I, there's voices inside the corner of the room right now. They're screaming at me. They're screaming at me. And how do I know what's real? And how do I know what's unreal? Because the error of margin of error from what could be possible and what could be unreal is so wide for me. And that is because there is a conspiracy to pervert the course of justice. And that is because you have all systemically oppressed, neglected, ostracized and demonized me. I was killed. Make no mistake. Um, I, I'm just trying to talk. I, I'm so confused because when you suffer this type of systemic, profound abuse, and torture is what it is. It confuses you. I'm confused because I have no one in my world to trust. And um, uh, the world has forsaken me. And, you know, I've tried to do a really good job. You know what? Sometimes the voices go, you're a rapist, you're a pedophile, I'm going to fucking kill you. If I'm a criminal, just arrest me. That's as simple as that. Why don't you just arrest me? Because otherwise, what's happening is a conspiracy to pervert the course of justice to not only demonize and neglect and maim someone so much they were killed with, with a brain injury and then you further forsake, for, forsaken them and re rejected their just medication you've got a diagnosis for. Like, that's fucked up. You know what? You're fucked up. You're all fucked up. You know what? You can't fucking get a vulnerable person and fucking just demonize them and ostracize them, neglect them and fucking just catfish gaslight them to fucking hell with every fucking person in the country. It's not fucking right. It's not fucking right. You know what? There are legal things in place here that, have, that you've been breaking the law. People say I break the law, and you know what? I fucking did. I did. I did fraud. <laughs> Fuck. What? Did, what else do you want me to do? I was rejected. I was taken my job. I was um, set up to, to be killed. I, then I was killed, and then I lost my um, income assist insurance. I've lost my work cover. That's still fucking outstanding. I've lost um, my business insurance. My business was fucking destroyed. I've been robbed. I've literally been robbed. I've had violent criminals in the place. I've been fucking beaten up, violently fucking attacked at least twice. And then you, you, wouldn't, you couldn't make this up. You couldn't make up one fucking story with more fucking new... That's more more fucking interesting than the fucking one. I, I, don't, I don't want to be interesting. I want to be fucking boring. Fuck... It's just, I'm so confused. It's so fucking broad and oppressive and fucking massive. I don't even know where to fucking start. But you know what? I'll start with the fucking people who are fucking guilty. That's Steve Isonides. Gee, everyone loved when I was with Steve Isonides, the ASIO employee, who, you know, looked after Rich because I was too much of a burden for my fucking family to, f to f f fucking look after. Fuck you, Steve Isonides, you fucking small cocked Greek hairy backed motherfucker. You're a real fucking coward. And you know what? You 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 escaped that relationship. We were five years together. Everyone goes, Oh, Mum used to send a card every year. Oh Steve, thanks for looking after Rich. Is he feel us a fucking burden to offload? You know what? You oh, you're all fucked up. You are all so fucked up. It's not me who's fucked up. I know exactly what's fucking going on. The fucking world has covered for Steve Isonetti's fucking Greek hairy fat ass. He's fucking underpinning this. 
He fucking owes me a fair, legal and equitable settlement. It is against the Charter of Human Rights for a person with a disability, and I identify with one, not to be have equal access to the fucking law. And I've never fucking had it. And that is a fucking against the law in itself. Now, some cunt out there, get me fucking a lawyer so I can fucking roast Steve Isonini's ass like he contributed to my fucking death. I will fucking slit your throat, cunt. He is a fucking criminal. He drugged me. He raped me. Yeah, who's going to believe that? He is a fucking toxic fucking narcissist. How is it possible? How is it even possible that me, a person who has acted with his heart his whole life to, to advocate for those marginalised with mental illness. I looked after people who were gay, straight, black, trans, short, tall, whatever. I'm the hero here. You know who's not the hero? You know, you know it's brave. What's brave is being me and even fucking being alive. What's brave is fucking me who is absolutely unprotected. Fucking unprotected. I haven't got any cop fucking looking after me. I haven't got any fucking politician looking after me. I haven't got any fucking person looking after me. Steve Austin is you fucking cunt. You were fucking behind this. And you owe me a fair, equal and legal, equitable settlement for our relationship. And you fucked off with over a million and a half dollars and super and another million dollars for our fucking house you sold. And you know what? We were fucking engaged. I fucking gave five years of my life to you, you fucking heinous, shifty fucking creature. Someone out there, get me a fucking lawyer. I'm going to fuck his shit up. And I'm going to get this fucking detriment. And um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do exactly what I did before I was fucking murdered. I'm going to get fucking... I'm going to look after all the forgotten people. I'm forgotten! I worked for 25 years out of altruism, out of the goodness of my fucking heart, mostly, just to fucking help people with what I fucking had. And that was... My own fucking sentience, because I never had any more than that, and I still don't. I fucking looked after a lot of people. I spoke from Montreal to Dubbo to Warrnambool, all the Today radio stations. I was a nationally human rights awarded fucking advocate. I helped people. I shared my experience, and I used my fucking story to help better the fucking world. And you all fucking saw me coming, took advantage of it, Framed me and fucking threw it out with the bathroom, you fucking dirty, fucking deceitful cunts. I'm going to look after people with this detriment money and I'm going to look after the marginalised. And yes, even the rape victims. You know, like, excuse me, right? Fuck you. You can't rape the willing. Christ, fucking hell. Why don't. I'm going to look after the rape victims. I'm going to look after the fucking people who are abused. By pedophiles? Like fucking I was? That no one fucking believed? I'm gonna look after those with fucking mental health issues like I fucking have! I'm gonna look after the people who need a fucking second chance! No one's fucking giving me one either, you fucking dirty cunts! I'll use that detriment money and I'm gonna create a fund. And it's going to fucking be an awesome fund and it's going to fucking look after marginalised people and people who, who need a second chance and f for victims of crime and who are bereaved by people who have suicided. Like all my friends who have gone. And I'm going to get all this money and that's what I'm going to fucking do. And I'm going to get some fucking support one way or the other because I have no home. I'm in this fucking squat right now. I'm in a fucking squat. I have no home. I'm going to move out in two weeks' time. And I've got fucking nowhere to go. No money to do it. I've got a fucking beautiful dog. It's all I've got in the fucking world. And you've all rendered this. You all witnessed it. You all watched it. And you all allowed it to fucking happen. You fucking cowards. Anyway, I'm going to fucking... Um, create that fund it's going to be a trust fund and i'm going to help 
those people in Australia who actually fucking need it. And that is the way I transform my experience and my life and my story into a fucking good news story. And I fucking do it with fucking honesty and I do it with fucking bravery and I do it with authenticity, you fucking deceitful cunts! It all fucking started around the... Around the well, it started years ago, didn't it? I was, I, I was living a public life, a private life. Everyone has been turned against me. I can't go to the police. I can't get a lawyer. I can't be a whistleblower. And I can't, I can't do anything. I'm absolutely fucking clusterfuck framed. There is no fucking way out for me. Unless someone believes in the fucking story, that, the authentic story that I've done. I've done wrong things. Fuck. Who hasn't? I've done drugs. Who hasn't? You know, it's, it's so fucked. I, I can't even get through my head where the abuse is coming from. That was, was so confusing for me. I don't know where it's coming from. One of them's Steve. He's deceived all my friends into fucking believing I'm some kind of fucking, um, you know, person to, to exploit and demonize. Where is he? He's with the CSIRO. My computer's hacked. I can't fucking even Google him. My computer's hacked. My business was ruined. My fucking business, my online business where I make money. I worked hard. People say I don't work as a mad person, but you know, I've worked fucking hard. I've worked hard in public places. I've worked in advocacy. I've worked in art. I've worked in writing. I've worked in music. I've worked in fucking everything. And you know what? You can all fucking suck my cock because I'm proud of what I fucking did. And I, you might think that I'm not a success, a success, a success. But I'm a fucking roaring success. I'm more of a success and a brave, authentic and amazing fucking success than any of you cunts will ever be. So I'm fucking proud of who I am. And it fucking in data we trust, fucking, it's all I've got left, mate. And the fucking computer's fucking hacked. My phone's hacked, the computer's hacked, the fucking people are screaming out the front of me. You fucking dirty cunts. I can't even go to a cop. They go, oh, how's your mental illness? Yeah, go fuck yourselves. How's fucking, you know, being a fucking member of a fucking toxic, tyrannical government who fucking oppresses and victimizes people and fucking is the, you can all get fucked as far as I'm concerned. And another thing, Dr. Whitaker, I forgive you. I gave you fucking gifts. You shouldn't have fucking given me that medication for fucking, um, I was suicidal, mate. I just lost my friend Nathan Turnley. I was fucking isolated. Every kind of turned their back on me. Of course I was fucking ice, and you fucking well knew it, and you wouldn't even give me the NDIS, so now I'm fucking on it, now I'm off it, now I'm fucking, I don't even know where I am, I don't even know what I am, or after or after, I fucking overdosed, and it was, I didn't set you up, it was fucking ridiculous, Mr. Ball, Russell Ball, you fucking cunt, of Ball and Partners, he is a doctor, a, a, a lawyer, who I didn't even know what I was up against, I was no way going to win that fight. I only found out that he framed me as an extortionist to internal government agencies like APRA, NHP, APC, um, the Health Complaints Commissioner, Mental Health Complaints Commissioner, the Police, IBAC, the Victorian Inspector, and the Ombudsman, only fucking after I'd fucking killed myself and I told the CAT team on the door that that was fucking the case and I'm fucking right. You fucking cunts, you dirty fucking cunts. Mr. Ball, of uh, Ball and Partners, you're a fucking cunt. You fucking have privilege... Money, power, agency, and you have the ability to fuck people over. You well knew as a lawyer that I had a disability, and that is, you well fucking knew that was against the Charter of Human Rights, and I should have a lawyer as well, and you fucking sent me off to get one, and you damn well knew that I couldn't. And you are fucking guilty of conspiracy to further the course of justice. You conceited, privileged cunt. I had nothing against Dr. Whittaker. I just wanted an atonement for what had happened because I fucking overdosed and I could have been dead. And the only, way I, the only reason I stick up for myself for this fucked head of mine, I can't think probably since I fucking died in Wabby Mercy Hospital because you fucking all fucked me over. And I... I told the cat team there was a conspiracy and you wouldn't fucking believe me. You all knew that I'd been sexually abused. You all knew that I had a difficult life. You all knew I had psychosis and you all knew I had drug problems and you all fucking damn me to hell and you all fucking set me up the fallow. You all fucking 
maimed me and put me in a fucking cycle when I fucking knew exactly what was going on. You know what? Really embarrassed that a paranoid schizophrenic has is just a guy who's just found out what's going on. And I fucking always know what's going on. And I fucking know you and you and you and you and all of you fucking cunts. I know exactly what you think. I know, ex I know exactly what prejudice is. I preach against it for fucking 25 years. I know what stigma is. I preached against it for fucking 25 years. Liberal and slander are illegal. Victimization is fucking illegal, you fucking dirty cunts! You fucking created this! This fucking person who went forward of his own honest accord, tried to help the fucking world, and you know, you, you watch it, we snip it on the news because it'll made it, and it'll, it'll all be really like a banshee, and I'll say, oh, Richmond, oh, he's insane. Yep, fucking good one. Really nice, you know? My sister summed it up best. Jody Bongetti. Or Jody as a party, whatever the fuck wog her fucking ex husband was with a fucking wig. <coughs> she, she, she said, You're a druggo and a schizo and get the fuck out of our lives. And that is, at least she was fucking honest with me. She had the fucking balls. Yes, she has got balls. She has, she's quite a femdom kind of person. But she had the fucking balls to at least say it to my face, But unfortunately for fucking her, I recorded it. Because you know what? I don't know what's fucking real and I don't know what's fucking not because you've all fucked with me. Everyone has thought that. I'm a drug owner, skits don't get the fuck out of my You've all watched me on fucking the YouTube losing my shit. I self-medicated with amphetamines because I'd lost my dexamphetamine script. Gee, thanks, Dr. Horgan. You fucking diagnosed me with AJHG. I did amazingly well on it for fucking eight years or something. Did a master's degree, a PhD, ran my own business, worked. Obviously, it fucking works, doesn't it? And you, and where be mercy, those cunts took it away. They took it away from me, and they know full well that, that medication is worthy for me. And you know who my contact is? Cade fucking Malloy. You fucking dirty cunt. You fucking well know that it is illegal for me not to have a lawyer in this country as a person with a disability. You fucking snide, conniving cunt. You fucking come here with your pleasant fucking front, you know, charming to all the people, and, and you know, and you fucking deceive me. You stab me right in the front. That's how you know deceit works really well, because they come real fucking close, and they come right up to you, and they fucking stab you right in the front. And they fucking do it with a smile. And then they blame you for getting angry when you fucking, when they fucking hurt you. You fucking cunts. The dog's looking at me weird. I'm fucking over it. I'm fucking over this shit. I'm owed money. I, I've never even fucking wanted money. Do I look like someone who fucking wants money? What I want is the freedom from oppression, which is the pointed um, um, victimization, the opposite of not having money, because to not have money actually fucking destroys you in this society. And in capitalism, you are deemed worthy if you have fucking money. And you and you know you put on the, yeah. You know, if a monkey held all the held all the bananas, and, and couldn't give them to anyone else to eat, all the anthropologists would say, "Gee, isn't that interesting? You know, why is he holding all the bananas? Because it's fucking insane." And in in human terms, if someone's got all the fucking bananas, like a uh, Bruce McMaster and the fucking that family. Or, or any other fucking cunt, privileged, conceited, privileged cunt who, 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 who's only got authenticity and power because of money. Well, we put them on front, of the, on, front, on front of Forbes magazine. We put them on the fucking headlines. You know who we should put on the fucking headlines? The common fucking people. The people who fucking struggle. The people that have the fucking... The guts to go forward and fucking survive despite the odds. And I didn't survive. It was fatal. Your oppression has led me to fatality inside a public institution. And that is a fact. There is the fucking proof. And as a fact, you have all victim blamed me for wanting to die. And that, why wouldn't I want to die? I'd lost everyone in the world, been locked up in a fucking psych ward when I know exactly what's fucking going on. I know it's right in my head and I just wanted to fucking get off this planet. And that... I've got one regret, 
And that's the note I left my dog. Because none of the humans have that worth. So what happened after I died in hospital? I tried to fucking, again, stand in defense of fucking existing and living. Standing in defense of my own fucking human existence. And I did that again because I'd forgotten. I've got a memory problem. I don't understand the processes I go through. I'm trying to battle it with my own mind, but I'm categorically framed and gaslighted by the whole fucking thing. So I went to the, again, I went to the Mental Health Complaints Commission, the Mental Health Complaints Commission. The, I went through all the processes and when it come to come to the top and they said, it's all right, there's been an apology. And the apology said, from Werribee Messy Hospital, oh, gee, we're, um, we're sorry for returning a broken used toilet brush in your clothes to the ICU unit after you tried to kill yourself with it and slit your, slit your artery open. It's not our policy to give away hospital property. And that's with the audacity that this thing works. And, and that's what you all protect that's what you all protect by by not speaking up on my behalf. I want someone to speak for me. I, I've spoken for so many others in my life. Why won't someone speak for me? I'm totally isolated. I've got no job. I've got no medication. I've got no friend. They medicate me for delusions of persecution. Are you fucking kidding me? Where is my advocate? Where did someone go to say, Oh, fuck it. It's shit what happened to Rich. I've got his fucking back. Not one cunt in the world. I'm fucking starting to think I'm Jesus Christ fucking part two, the forsaken. I'm, I'm clearly struggling to hold on to the whole reality of things because it's so broad and so profoundly disabling that that's what they want you to do. That's how they fuck you up. That's how they get you. Because you start to question what's real and what's not. I know it's fucking real. I know this is real. I know I'm real. I know my emotions are real. And emotions can never be wrong. They just are. They just are. And if I'm sad, then I'm sad. If I'm happy, I'm happy. If I'm elated, elated, elated then I'm elated. And I'm allowed to have them. It's not a crime. I can't go to the police. I can't be a whistleblower. I can't um, even go to the office of Prime Minister and Cabinet who refused my freedom of information, who are sucking Steve Isonetti's cock and who are protecting that relationship. That is absolute corruption. It is powerful people protecting powerful people. Well, you know what? I got some fucking power too. I got fucking the truth and I got fucking authenticity and I don't have to hide behind fucking artificial things or constructs of money or your charming fucking, you know, persona to try and exploit and, and turn people against you. Because I, I know how I'm not very clever. I've never said I'm clever. The only reason I've got a doctorate, a doctorate, I know, and PhD in ethics, that means ethics means do no harm. Do you think some harm's been done to me, maybe, systemically and universally? Do you think people mean me harm? Do you think people in my life, including my own mother, including my brother, sister, everyone in my life, do you think they want to do me harm by universally abandoning me? Do you think they want to do that? Do you think, um, do you think the police want to do me harm by just not acknowledging my justice issues? Do you think that... The drug dealers, you know, the ones you send to keep me addicted, want to do me harm? Do you think they're doing that? Do you? Do you think harm has been done to me in my life? Do you think it's been done? Because ethics means do no harm. And great harm is being done to me. And you know what? Those people will act via proxy and they'll do it silently. And that is the height of cowardice. People, the secret police, the, the architects of society, they're all cowards. I'm not. 
I'm a fucking brave warrior, mate. And I'm a fucking light seeker and a light fucking speaker. And I don't have to fucking lie. I don't have to lie. And if I'm confused, then I am honest about being confused. And there's, there's, there's no other way to see it. I have worked my entire life for um, other people and I've used my authenticity and my voice as an authentic way to get um, messages across and I've been seen coming and I have been exploited. Exploited at first by a homophobic and misunderstanding family. I know people go, oh, you poor mother. Well, where are they now? Sure, I've been mean to them. I'm sorry, family. But, you know, you're going to be sorry to me too. You watch this happen and you're watching it happen. You are watching it happen. The whole world is witnessing me being put at great fucking risk. A person who has already overdosed a couple of times, suicided once, and you have rejected his money. You have supplied him drugs. You have rejected his drugs that make him think. You have isolated him. And you have set him up to fail and you saw him coming and you have allowed him to fuck his own shit up and make a cunt of himself. And I fucking have. So, so fucking what? It doesn't mean I'm a fucking, it's the end of the world. It means I'm a fucking made a cunt of myself. And that's the best advice Wes ever gave me. Wes, the fucking legend. Wes with a Z. The fucking legend. And he, he said, you know what you should do with your family? <laughs> he said, you should get really fucking wasted. And make a fucking cunt of yourself. <laughs> and I fucking love Wes. And I love Nathan. And I love Shags. And I love Hayden. And so many other friends who aren't with us. And I feel like I'm living in a, a dual reality. Where when I've overdosed or killed myself, I've gone into... Kind of different kind of samsara hell. And and the laws of reality have changed. That's what it feels like. Because I I, I don't know how how this situation with just me, a d just a dude, is even possible. I was murdered. And the world watched it happen. And they allowed its cover-up. And um, they um, have further um drifted with, with the with the victimization of me and they've allowed this to happen and this is really shit thing some crimes have happened people say i've done crimes there's some serious systemic corruption going on the office of prime minister and cabinet refused my freedom of information i've been banned from the australian financial complaints authority why because i called them out for being conspiratorial that they were setting me up to fail and I knew it. I could tell in their voice, I'm not an idiot. And and the Australian Human Rights Commission, they free kicked a million and a half dollar deal to the opposite team. How do I know this to be true? It's because I recorded them. I recorded things because I don't know if it's real or not. Now I know. Now I've tested. Now I know what's real. I, I know that's real. And I know that they're scared of me in my recordings and I know they're covering it up. And I know... Um, I had to test. I, I don't. What's real? What's 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 not? I have a. I have a. Um, I've I've been um, intelligently designed for that to be a wide um, er, margin of error. There are voices in the corner of my room. That's designed. That's a designed neurosis. Um, I have voices. I know they're there. I know they're watching me. I know they follow me. I know they're um, in my car. I know they're in my room. I know they're in the com um, uh, in the computer. I know they're in people. The <coughs> but but the but the facts that are things like this. My business was destroyed. Who who ever had um you know JohnHarryBakery dot com dot au and that was just fucking destroyed. And they do it with impunity. No one stands up for me. No one has my back. I went, and I go through all the right channels. And you know what? I have to reverse engineer this clusterfuck framed thing right from humble beginnings right up to the fucking top of the Office of Prime Minister and Cabinet ASIO and beyond. 
it's I was set up to fail. There is no justice. There is no equality. There's no rule of law. There is a pointed victimization of me. Victimization is against the law. You can't ruin someone's fucking website. You can't destroy evidence before a court. And you can't fucking just destroy everyone's intellectual property and do it with impunity. You just fucking can't. Am I? Am I imagining things? You've all witnessed this happen. One after the other. Bang, 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 bang. It's like it became a game after a while. I just learned to expect what was going to happen next. Oh, we've, you know, we've set you up to fail. We've killed you. We've called you mad. We've abandoned you. We've got you rid of your job. We've got rid of your insurance. We've got rid of um, your sexual abuse case. We've, that's cooked. We've framed you as an extortionist. We've got rid of your job. We've got you rid of your insurance. We've got you rid of your income insurance. We've ruined your business. We set you up at AFCA. We've ruined you at the Australian Human Rights Commission. We know who you are at the Attorney General, and we fucking hate you too, and we're going to oppress you and send you to the same fucking helpline because that's where you belong. You're fucking insane. Go and fucking talk to them. My book was saying book of the year. Oh, holy hell. What the fuck's going on? Are you fucking joking, Michaela Cash, you fucking dirty dyke? <laughs> fucking thin lip liberal cunt. Anyway, fucking hell, Jesus Christ. Fucking... She goes, it's not within my remit to intervene in um, legal issues. It is exactly your fucking remit, you stupid cunt. And that's how they gaslight you into fucking believing that fucking is the right thing to do. They absolutely fucking know what's going on. You can't have this kind of vile victimization appeal to one fucking person. And I'm sure it happens to others, but I'm not a usual fucking person because I've spoken in the fucking parliament. I've spoken in Montreal and fucking Dubbo and fucking all... I'm not an average person. I've got a public profile. A public profile. If there's a Wikipedia page about me, I know I fucking edited it because I was vain, but it fucking again, it's out there. I'm not a normal person. McKinley Cash knows who I fucking am, and they've all exported me and labelled me as fucking the mad. Well, there's mad, and there's mad, and then there's, you know, madness in societies, is, madness in individuals is really rare, and in society, it's the fucking normal. And McKinley Cash covered it up, and it fucking just goes on. My business was ruined, I fucking, um, you know, former partner doesn't pay it his share of the things. He's underpinning this. Um, and you're all protecting him. I don't know why. Is it? I know why. It's because my mother goes, oh, thanks for looking after Rich. You know, I looked after fucking Rich. I looked after fucking Rich the whole fucking time I was with him. You know, that cunt was earning 40 grand a year. I was on 300, uh, 40 grand a month. I was on $350 a week. Living off a nest egg, which was a disability payout. And he was fucking collecting the carer's pension to fucking feather his own nest, the dirty Greek fucking cunt. You just don't know how insane this is. You know, I looked after me. Fuck. I mean, I feel sorry for the poor cunt. I mean, his fucking father touched him up and sucked him off. I was like, I don't know. So fucked up. We were both fucked up. Hi, Steve. How are you going, mate? You doing good over there at CSIRO? You watching the fucking videos coming out? You fucking stupid cunt. Crimes have happened. There's a conspiracy to pervert the course of justice. All my prosecution has to do to prove in the High Court that a conspiracy to pervert the course of justice has happened is that three or more people conspired to pervert it. Or admitted, or by omission, went to pervert it. Are you fucking kidding me? What's the dog doing? Crystal, it's alright. So here's the fucking story. I've been fucking killed. I've been set up to fail. I've been framed, maimed, blamed, identified, victimized, vilified, and fucking killed. And it fucking covered up and you all cunts fucking know exactly that I am fucking speaking the truth because you know my authenticity and you don't like it. And you know that I see beyond the spaces. And I see things that other people don't. It doesn't mean that I'm insane. It means you're deficient. And I don't see, sure, other things that you don't see. Maybe you can explain to me somehow. Maybe it's me that's deficient. Please explain to me. Explain. Where is everyone explaining to me what's going on? 
I'm asking you to. If you're fucking calling out from the corner of the room, why don't you fucking have a conversation with me? If I'm a fucking criminal, then arrest me. I'm going to fucking put all this evidence up there. I'm fucking over it. I want, this is what I want. I want a fair, equal, legal, just separation from my former cunt partner, Steve Isonides, the sociopathic narcissist. And I want my work cover. I want fucking Bill Shorten or the Attorney General Mark Dravis, who I've already fucking spoken to and will, will actively omit to reject to me, to acknowledge that um, my... Um, I'm an employee for the purpose of SRC work cover and pay my work cover and I want it paid fucking by the middle of the next week. I'm a government employee. I have a Department of Social Security fucking employment login, you stupid fucking cunts, conceited. You're hiding behind structures of privilege and power and you're all in cahoots together. I'm owed my fucking work cover and I'm owed my hate chef insurance. Sheena Jack, you fucking dirty slut. You <laughs> You fucking, this is a cover up. I can't have health insurance, be in a fucking hospital bed and you not pay me. That is a fucking conspiracy to prove the cost of justice to you fucking dirty, conniving, sneaky cunts. And it goes also to fucking my other insurance, my business insurance, NAVA, AHI, fucking Tokyo Wood Marine, whatever your fucking name is. I all want my fucking money. You have all acted with impunity because you know that I can't get a fucking result and you can treat me this way because I can't go to AFCA, because I can't go higher, because I can't go to the Attorney General, and I can't go to the Office of Prime Minister, and then I'm a fucking scapegoat. I want my fucking money. I have never wanted money. Now, I fucking want it. I want it from you, and I want apologies for all of you cunts. I want a quiet, peaceful life with my dog. I don't even want to be this fucking person. I didn't choose this. Or maybe I didn't. I fucking have no idea. But I, now I just want to transform this shit sandwich of a life into a peaceful life, which is going to collect my right and just and legal detriment. It is going to stick up for my own fucking rights. And I am going to fucking turn that money and be a transformational expert as I always have fucking been and I'm going to get that fucking prosperity, wealth and money and I'm going to fucking give it to the people who need it because none of you are doing that job. I want the malpractice case to go ahead. Yeah, sure. I've got nothing against you, but fuck, why wouldn't I have been fucking killed and I want Mr. Ball of Ball and Partners I want the, the liberal and slander that he fucking cursed me with that fucking underpinned my killing to be held accountable because I've got that fucking evidence from HCC um, um, Health Complaints Commissioner. You dirty, conceited, privileged bastard who knew better than to discriminate and prejudice and frame someone. And you knew you were doing this and you knew you were doing it with harm to hurt me. And you all have known that it has been in order to disarm, disable, and hurt me. You're hurting me, and you have hurt me, and I'm hurt. And I was fucking killed. And now, <coughs> now the fucking day is coming. I've fucking woken up, and I'm going to fucking co collect my fucking innings. I'm going to have a peaceful life away from all of you. You've all forsaken me. I've only got the dog. And the bad thing about the fucking Jesus story is that I'm going to have to forgive you all now and fucking love you all. But that forgiveness comes with the 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 other um, in the, the the decimal point money um, transformation because you owe me, you all owe me, you all owe me, you all owe me an apology. You all watched me be persecuted, set up to fail, and killed, and then you watched it go on. And you watch it like a train wreck, car crash, and, and you allowed that to happen. You allowed that to happen, all of you, every one of you. And now I've fucking spoken and my time has come. It is time for me to fucking have my fucking day in the sun and have some contentment. Because if someone took your job, they'd be outraged. If, someone, if you were sexually abused, they'd be outraged. If you were... Um, uh, raped, they'd be outraged. If you were bloody beaten up, they'd be outraged. I, I mean, I, I'm not making this up. I was violently fucking attacked inside a hospital and that was a fucking setup. 
If you lost your job, they'd be outraged. If you were framed, they'd be outraged. If you were taken advantage of and exploited and demonized and victimized and fucked over, there would be outrage. If any one of you people out there had this stuff happen to you, there would be fucking outrage. And you would stick up for yourselves. And I'm sticking up for myself because no other cunt will. And now I just have. And I'll be expecting all your apology emails. And I'll be expecting all your... Someone to inter intervene and say, Gee, shit, what's happened to Rich? I have his back. I'm waiting for that person. And I want that person to be a Queen's Council. And I want them to go to the High Court. And I want to make my case known and I'm going to um, put my pay ID at the bottom of this because you know what I have no fucking food and I have no home and I've, of the, the authorities will forcibly remove me from here in just over seven days time and I want someone to stand up for me and I want someone to have my back it's not too much to ask for I just want someone to care and I want le equal and uh, equitable legal um things and, and, and I want to have my day in the sun I want to live a simple life with my dog away from all of you I just need a break please allow me to have a break allow me uh, the agency to get access and equality before the law and please while that's coming just in the next week please donate for me at the thing below because I'm going to pay you back and I'm going to pay it back in spades and I'm going to help people as I always have done before my death and after my death. And they say in Buddhism, before enlightenment, chop wood and carry water. And after enlightenment, chop wood and carry water. I know who I am. Do you know who you are? Because I can see you. That's all I have to say.